Hi everybody, how's it going? It, 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 welcome, it is Wednesday once again. You all know what that means, it means it's time for Dungeons and Dragons. We are unfortunately going to be missing Jay today. Uh, he had a very tiring uh, time of it yesterday, being at the veterinary hospital with Bella. Uh, things are looking okay for her now. So that is good news, but uh, he didn't you know, get to get home until like three o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, he has been placed into my capable hands. Oh, goodness, excuse me. I need one second. <coughs> oh, that was one heck of a cough. Uh, but anyways, last time we were here, we were going down the path of memories. It was a delightful jaunt full of skeletal s dragon snakes. There was there was a lake of like oil slick right here that was made all fiery by the slod that was in it. Yes, we have a new new head for uh, Edge. It's a very good. Very good PNG tuber. Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt with the chat with that, but no, that's I'll, okay. Guess I'll shout out the artist. Yeah, just let me finish the reintro here. Uh, there was some exploration done. There was a a stone golem that was fought and bested. And there was a battle that was missed due to, you know, draconic conversa conversation skills. And I didn't get to use, the, <laughs> I didn't get to use the freaking lesser death dragon. It was super cool. Aww, and I didn't get to use it. Yeah. Would have been pretty rad. It would have been super radical. <laughs> uh, but yes, eggshell. Please do uh, shout out the artist of your of your new face. Oh uh, yes, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, Azura Blue Fox. She's a good friend of mine, and she also uh, helped me with my fursuit. Mm. So she's a really good artist. Anyway, excellent. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Uh, but as it stands now, we will return in to the adventure. You have just had, I believe, a short rest. Or maybe you decided against resting at all. I can't recall. Uh, it is short. It is short you rest. It is short in the, uh, the hearth that I created. Okay, so yes, yes, I yes. I think it was no more than a short, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right then. So, you had a short little rest, and you are now ready to move forward into the next room that is ahead of you. We can open these doors. Who will lead the charge? I guess I'm leading the charge. Ooh, new room. <laughs> Oh geez, I wasn't even in uh, fantasy grounds. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's that's a problem. Oh, you know what? I What's a big problem is I forgot to share the map with you. Also, there's a <laughs> there's a big fucking problem. <laughs> wow. Listen, it's okay. <laughs> I war I warned you guys I was going to be out of it sometimes. <laughs> you did. You did. Uh, All right, let's make sure Edge has this. I don't want to see your face in the has access to it corner. That's weird. Uh, okay, okay, I'm in the game now. Okay, uh, now he's in. Uh, all I see is black, though, but I don't know, maybe that's normal. Shouldn't be normal. Uh, Reshare re it, maybe? Because I was like, like logging in, in when you shared, I think. Maybe that's why. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Still black. That's very strange. 
This looks like a meth lab. You're not entirely wrong. Uh, you know what? I'll get rid of the shading on things here. Or the shadow mode. That's not the right button. Uh, okay, now I see. No, oh, okay, doing that did it. Cool. I, I yeah, or maybe it was still loading or something. I don't know, but yeah, I see, <clears throat> I see now. Could could have been, could have been. All right then. So, here's what happens. This uh, workstone room is full of laboratory equipment. There is vials of colorful liquids, glass lenses, and live mice in cages. Books crowd shelves and overflow onto the floor. Oh, okay. Oh. This place sure is different. Hmm. Yeah, there's actual like signs of life in here. Um, should we try to look for, you know, like investigate what's going on, trying to under like determine what's what's being done here just by looking around? Yeah, you can do that. It will take you about an hour of investigating to get any proper information. Mm. Okay. We've, uh, we do... want to kind of keep moving, right? We don't want to spend too much time here. I agree with that. Mm. All right, Maybe then. we have, like, a quick look around without poking into anything serious and then just... Kind of press on after that. Okie dokie, then. All right. <clears throat> you have a quick look around. Nothing really too crazy exciting. Hmm. Is there, like, anything written on paper somewhere, like, on tables? Mm, there's lots of writing and stuff, but, you know, you can't get a whole lot out of it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we can really... jargon. Right. We can come back here, maybe. It's true, you can. Okay, but but it looks like it has been like lived in like recently. It's not like full of yeah, dust can we check and for signs of someone recently being here. Yeah. Yeah, it is definitely recently lived in. Oh, okay. We don't even have to roll for that. All right. Uh. Maybe it is worth poking around? I mean... Landry can't make heads or tails of it, so it's up to everybody else. <laughs> I don't it know. Just, we did just take like an hour break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did yeah. just take a little nappy nap. After deciding that taking a long rest would take too long. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't... I, this stuff looks very interesting, but it doesn't look an hour interesting to me. Uh, okay. I'm yeah. all rested up and and itching to get finding out what the hell is, uh, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. more pressing up matters. The city of lost names. All right, absolutely. Let's move on. All right, then you want to move on, and there is in fact a door. This leads into the next room here. Ooh, another lounge. Yes. There's, I there's... flopped down on the couch uh, for a second. Okay, well, uh, you, you try to go That's to do true. that. However, there, there's a person in here. Oh. 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 <clears throat> this chamber is furnished as a luxurious apartment. Its lamps and stuffed chairs look old but well-maintained. A hooded, crimson-robed figure steps through a door from the east and gives you all a calm nod. From behind a bleached skull mask speaks a smooth voice. Oh, welcome. Let's get to the assessment then. The figure holds out a blue gem, which then shatters. Everyone, please. Roll initiative. Oh, man. You just <laughs> had to go find a couch, didn't you? <laughs> it looked like a comfy couch. It's probably a very comfy couch. We'll find out after. Ikea like showroom. I don't see any of the room. I'm just like stuck behind. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't give you your thing. That was the issue. I, I think, yeah. 
I've moved you up. Are you able to see things now? Uh, yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Uh, I'm clicking on Buster when I need to get up and roll his initiative for him. Can't believe every initiative I've rolled in this area has been under 10. I'm almost positive. <laughs> you are somehow almost always at the bottom of the list. I'm just okay. perplexed by everything going on and just sort of like, ah. Oh. Let's make sure everyone's right now. actually in a spot here. Excellent. This isn't like combat music. I mean, Stripe B has plus four. I have plus six. And Buster has plus five to initiation. So that definitely would push Landrin to the lower end of the initiation. Same with Eggshell. Oh. Yeah. I guess we should get the Sirenscape link. I, it, it's it's there. It's already in chat. <laughs> oh, there it is. I, for some reason, I thought that was last week's. No, in fact, it was not. Is it a new link every week, or he has a new one every week. Ah. Anyhow, pull that up. Well, we've got combat here, everybody. Ah. Uh, uh, as I am in charge of Buster at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. Buster is the first in initiative. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, what do we got going for us here? What do we got going here for us console. here? Oh. Yes, you are fighting an air elemental. We're going to go ahead and Ooh. do just that's, three simple attacks. Came out of the, the gem? Yes. Ooh. One attack is a hit. I'm sorry. I did not mute in time. That's okay. Second attack <laughs> is a hit. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> my cat jumped off my lap and took my headset with, with it. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Bonus attack to hit with the, attack. with the rear end. Okay, so Buster has done an incredible job with the first blows. All right, I need to make sure that you're visible. So Buster has gone up and has done triple blow attacks. Has done damage to this creature. And up next is Stripey. From your from your lounging. Yes. Um, I find this extremely alarming. Once again, to be... I'm always very alarmed <laughs> when these enemies pop out of nowhere. I guess a cat would be, right? So jump up, tail poofy. And... Uh, and... Uh, hiss out a curse <laughs> at this thing. Um, <laughs> the worst one I know, uh, which is uh, Ralothim's Psychic Lance. Okay, then. I am that I am that shocked at what is happening in front of me. All right, then. Oh, it's a save, so it failed the save. Excellent. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it's failed the save against the Psychic Lance and thus has done all of the damage. Uh, what is there anything else to... Rolotham's Psychic Lance? Oh, uh, I think there is... Oh, and incapacitated until the start of your next turn. Okay, incapacitated. Cool. Why do you have to go and make me incapacitated? <laughs> <laughs> this version is all or nothing. Yeah. If it hits the save, then the thing's basically fucked. And if it gets the save, then I think basically nothing happens. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Make me frustrated. <clears throat> 
All right, so that is your big one. You doing anything else? Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, and now that I feel a little more, I, that made me feel more in control of the situation. So I feel I feel better, and so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap up Kilb there in uh, in preparation for his his next move. I can't do anything against this thing. I'll warn you. <laughs> do Do you know that? Have you tried? I can, I can only use Gift of the Chromatic Dragon once every long rest, and I've already used it. Okay, but do you, do, you, do you know that you can't do anything against it? It's air. I don't understand how I could hurt it. There's only one way to find out. Okay. Well, I'm not thinking too hard about that in the moment, so whether whether you can do anything or not, you got Bardic Inspiration, so... There you go. You got Bardic Inspiration. Okay. There you go, Kilb. Your turn. <laughs> uh, I suppose I can throw Hunter's Mark on it and try to proc that. Absolutely. So that's and, what I. And I mean, I... you you don't you don't know if it has immunity to damage. No. Okay. I'll shoot an arrow. I imagine I have advantage on it since Buster's right next to it. Darn Skippy. Okay. Wait, is that too close for my bow? Do I need to step back? No, you're good. Okay. Ooh, dropped a one. You dropped the one, so that's a hit. Okay, where is Hunter's Mark? There it is. You've done some damage. All right, I'll uh, shoot another. That will hit. Roll damage again. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And you get one more shot because it's the start of the round. 16 is a hit. Okay, cool. Roll damage plus your uh, your nonsense. Sure. Wow. Oh, it was okay. The eight was added. Yes. Okay, so that's your action and your bonus action. I assume you're not going to move at all. Uh, I don't like being bunched up like that. So I'm going to move back into the hall hallway a little bit. Okay, you you scurry backwards ever so slightly. Yeah. Hunker down. And then up next in the order is the air elemental who cannot take actions or reactions because it has been made incapacitated. Really? Sorry. Yeah, good job there. You can in-cap an elemental like that? Yeah, it's not immune to incapacitated. Huh. It is immune to exhaustion, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, prone, restrained, and unconscious. Not incapacitated, though. Ah. I see the distinction. Yeah. All right, well, it can do neither fuck nor shit. <laughs> so up next in the order will be Landrin. Wow. Uh, well, short of uh, a vacuum cleaner, there aren't going to be a ton of things I don't think Landry can actually do against this. I don't want to even really waste a big spell. Like, it'll take damage probably. I don't know. I feel like we'll finish it off in a round or two. I don't think I have to waste a spell here. Yeah, you can um, just thorn whip if you want. I was thinking about that, but then I don't know. I have a bit of a crazy... Uh, question, I suppose. Because uh, uh, I've never used this spell in almost any context. You bet. Uh, outside of WoW, I guess. But um, if I attempted to cast Polymorph on this, could I turn it into something else? You could. Uh, the thing about Polymorph is, what that does is its shape has been changed. It has a new amount of health. That health 
is like a separate health bar. Like <clears throat> once the health bar is reduced, then the spell ends. Reverts to and it reverts back it to how it was before the polymorph spell. Okay, and it probably retains some kind of attributes too. Anyway, uh, well, that was just yeah, a, like a what if you know mm -hmm. it was just passing by. But the only thing I think I can really do because I really don't want to use a spell on this guy ex is except with the possibility of um, just using fairy fire to sort of illuminate it. So that in case it tries to get thinner or harder to hit or harder to see, then it's illuminated. That is certainly an option that would give everyone else, I guess, advantage on the attack. Would uh, it actually, or would it just be like there'd be no disadvantage, possibly? I'm not sure. Uh, also, this is just yeah. me telling you, just thorn whip it. Okay. <laughs> just thorn whip, whip it. Good. Then I think I'll thorn whip it. Yeah. And, uh, just hope for some good damage, I guess. Yeah. Whip it uh, good. Right? Uh, where is it? There we go. 18. That's going to do it. Roll me damage, if you please. Hey. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so the Thorn Whip lashes out. It does damage the air elemental, and the air elemental disperses. Ooh, I just kind of split it where it is in midair. Precisely. It just sort of dissipates. Exactly. And uh, with that, the uh, woman who's standing here says, Enough! She pushes back her hood and removes her skull mask, revealing the features of an elven woman. Forgive the rough welcome, but it was necessary to appraise your abilities. I would like to speak now. Go ahead. <laughs> I have nothing to say. All right. I have just getting the picture of the lady here. Heck of a welcome. <clears throat> Indeed. She introduces herself, and she says, My name is Demelin. I, as you can see, am a red-robed mage of the Tower of High Sorcery. I was the High Wizard of Onyari. And one of the magic users responsible for raising the city into the heavens. Mm. You are not the first visitors of my, f my fallen city has seen in recent days. The world that forgot us has been flocking here to the paradise of Istar. I feel that although my home has suddenly been remembered, its le lessons have not. Mm. I would like to evict all of the strangers from the City of Lost Names and ensure that it never flies again. Oh. Well, hmm. uh, have, have Red Dragon Army people been in here? Yes, those would be the ones I was referring to. So well, we you... would also like to evict them from here because it would be terrible if they learned anything here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Indeed, I can agree with you on that. Onyari fell because of the hubris of man and elf alike. <clears throat> Pardon me just a second here. I don't know what it is these troops actually want within the city. I can tell you that patrols of soldiers and monsters have been roaming throughout it, focusing much of their activity upon the threshold of the heavens at the center of the city. They frequently come and go from a large mansion that lies upon the road to the threshold. I think that might be where they have set up their command post. You were about to say something, were you not? You basically answered exactly what I was about to ask. 
Wonderful, wonderful, excellent news indeed. Now, I must... I must tell you... I will not be accompanying you into the city, but I can give you a... Overview of the geography. First, let me tell you an important lesson about the city of Lost Names. The city of Onyari. This was long before the Cataclysm, you must know. It was a conflict called the Third Dragon War, many generations before the Cataclysm. The hero by the name of Huma Dragonbane defeated Takesis and prevented her conquest of Kryn. When she left the world, her most wicked dragon servants went with her to maintain balance. Most of Kryn's metallic dragons agreed to retreat to the hidden reaches of the world. In all things, there must be balance. That is the nature of magic. Centuries did pass, and in time, the last king priest rose to power in this land of Istar. He dreamed of an earthly paradise, a pleasure city, to reward all those he deemed righteous. The king priest and his servants, myself included, created a great flying island. He named the city Onyari, the city without sin, and claimed that it would be a place where he and his worthiest subjects might cat cast off mortal weakness and live as gods. There was, of course, a dark secret behind this paradise on Earth. On Earth. The city was constructed on an ancient and sacred site where for millennia the dragons of Kryn had gone to die. The king priest harnessed the magical resonance of the ancient dragons buried there to lift the city into the sky. When the remaining metallic dragons on Kryn learned about this desecration on the resting place of their dead, they were furious. Some urged temperance and moderacy. However, the gold dragon Caravarix refused to hold back. He and he led a contingent of metallic dragons to the city, intent on forcing it to land. The god Palandine had tasked the Knight of Salamnia, Xanas Sarlamir, with peacefully ending the conflict between the dragons and king priest. But Sarlamir's quest was a dismal failure. He attacked and killed Karaverx. The resulting battle between dragons and Onyari's people ended with Sarlamir's death in the city in ruins. It fell across the northern wastes. The bulk of the city falling here where it now lies. That is the history of this city. And I fear that the people who are here may be seeking to make Onyari fly once again. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. And silence. Um, um maybe I, I missed it, but what happens when this the city flies, like what what's the what's the advantage there? Like is is it like easier to defend or it 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 was mostly a hubris thing if we're entirely honest you know a city flying in the sky above the earthly uh well not pleasures but you know mm -hmm. earthly temptations you know it, right. it, it was like i said very hubristic I was mostly in it for the concept, but... Well, such is the nature of things getting away from you. A little desecration of dragon graves, and then suddenly hey, the whole thing comes tumbling down. Hmm. 
Uh, we've met some uh, dragon spirits. We're going about. Yeah, we've we've met some of the spirits, and uh, we we were met with some hostility, but we eventually managed to um, convince them that we were not like hostile towards them. Yes, yes, you are certainly not members of Onyari. You were not. You did not paint yourselves by flying upon the winds on the literal bones of the dragons that came before. No, we we actually have. Um, I mean, we've had like very positive interactions with metallic dragons in the past. Is that so? That's quite a feat, honestly. Um... So, what do you plan to do to... kind of... Uh, expunge the, the intruders of uh, the city? Or if you, if you have a plan? Do they have any weaknesses that you know of? Nothing that I know of currently. Um, but if I if I may uh, basically share this information with you, like we've been uh, after the Dragon Army for quite some time because they uh, were responsible for a lot of uh, damage on uh, uh, our home cities and. Uh, cities of friends and they're just ravaging the land so we're just trying to prevent them from you know um, becoming more powerful or something like depending on what they're trying to do here well man I'm, I'm certainly not going to stop you if you wish to go forth and slaughter and mm -hmm. kill as ever many you want that's I'm not going to say no hello on natural 20 welcome you're more. You are more than welcome to do so. I'm not, I won't stop you. Uh, yeah. It's. It seems we have uh, somewhat of a common goal. Maybe. Indeed, we do. Uh, were you gonna say something, Purple? I heard the oh. mic. I, I thought you were gonna add something to the <laughs> the interaction. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I just feel bad for talking a lot <laughs> no that's good okay good kind of i don't know as an aside or i don't know, i feel like this person is for somebody who wants to defeat wants to keep this the city from flying and wants to you know make sure that doesn't happen and would want to get rid of the red dragon army like she doesn't have very much information or any way of helping. Isn't mm -hmm. that I, I, I'm I'm having a hard time determining like does does she just not know what to do or is she just kind of like I don't know skeptical of us or mm -hmm. some kind of hidden motive or something. You could always roll insight to figure that out. Also, well, hi, yeah, Erwin. Good idea. <laughs> Also, hi, Erwin. Uh, yes, we are, in fact, missing a certain bunny. Uh, mm, what? Jay, Jay had a very long night uh, dealing with uh, uh, the dog being at the vet and didn't get home until very late. And just having a nappy nap. I am I am kind of going to be controlling the bunny at the moment. Okay, we've got a 17 on insight. Uh, can... Back, hi. Oh, sorry. Oh, thanks. <laughs> can... I would like to insight also oh, yeah you, you you just kind of get the deal that man she's like depressed like oh, i can't tell there's that. there's there's no there's no like passion in there there's more just like a resignation of just like 
Man. My time is over. It's up to the people of the new world to avoid the sins of the past. Someone's gonna bring this shit up. They deserve to, you know, be crushed by their own hubris like we were. Hmm. That's the kind of the vibe you're getting. Mm-hmm. And, uh... She's not really into it. <clears throat> yeah, she's not really into it. Um, oh. so Buster is going to actually take this opportunity to do as he has been doing all the time and take out the Dragon Lance, or the Lance Head, and be like, what, do you know anything about this? Mm-hmm. And... Good idea. And Demlin's actually going to be like, ah, uh, yes, I do know what that is. I've seen it before. That is is Salomir's dragon lance, which Palandine cursed after the knight slew the dragon Caravarix, as I said before. This is, it's not coincidence that you've come here with this to Onyari. You should seek out the temple of Palandine in the northeast of the city to reveal why the god has returned the lance here. Hmm. Can you, uh, would you be so kind to show us the way, perhaps? Or like a safe passage there, like if if mm -hmm. there is one? Okay, so she's not, she's not going to go into the city with y'all. Okay. <laughs> oh. Or maybe like a tip, I don't know, like insider's tip. Yeah, like... she'll, gi she'll give you the geography in the exploring the city section. Mm-hmm. But, Why won't she enter it, though? Can we just ask her straight up, like, what are you afraid of? She's not going to go with you because they don't want to give you a DMPC to join you in this fight. Oh. Uh, she, she's a font right, of exposition, not of not a fighter. Okay. That makes sense. It's all, that, um, that's all I got. I'm yeah. sorry. No, no, no. That's okay. Um, uh, we were... Um, we were kind of curious as to what you're actually doing here. Like, are you the one using this this sort of lab uh, back there? Yes, that that is my lab. I must do something to pass the times. Hmm. Understandable. And what is it you're doing, if we can ask? Nothing, really. I'm just... Reading the histories, keeping them here, reminding myself of my failures. You know. Is there anything useful that we can use in there? There might be a scroll or something in there. I don't suppose any of you are ritual casters, are you? It's a very good question, actually. Oh, no, ma'am. I don't know. Don't think I am. Um, am I? Typically I not. I... Usually, oh, okay. usually the rituals casters are uh, wizards. Yeah, it's like components and stuff. Oh, right? by oh. by default, the ritual casters are wizards, druids, clerics, and bards. Oh well, then. So yeah, we then we we do have us. you do have <laughs> yeah. some ritual casters. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, something? he's a bard. He's a bard. Yeah. Um, playing music counts cheating. as a ritual. Yeah, technically it does. Uh, she's she she'll go ahead and uh, zoop on in there and rummage around for a second, and then she returns with the spell scroll. And she says, "I knew I had a scroll here somewhere, and it's a spell scroll of Arcane Gate." and a book that contains the rituals for divination and phantom steed. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the party sheet. Well, I've got the dimension door already, so I, I won't take the arcane gate. What, what does that do? Uh, scroll of arcane gate allows you to cast the spell arcane gate. But, okay. I don't really know what it does, but it sounds like 
similar to Dimension Dwarfs. So. Uh, different technically, but uh, here I'll okay. So Arcane Gate makes uh, it, it makes fucking portal gun. Okay. Yeah. It it it, make, it makes portal, portal gun. gun. You create link teleportation portals that remain open for the duration, concentration up to ten minutes. Ring is only visible from one side, and that is the side that functions as a portal. You go through one side, you go through the other one, you know, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Versus uh dimension door. Mm. Which is misty step, but you can take a person with you, basically. Mm. Cool. Well, if you if you already have dimension door, then I guess I'll take it. Yeah, and a scroll is a scroll is one use, by the way. Right. It's like this is... you need it in a pinch or something. That's probably the only time. Mm -hmm. And then the stuff in the book. How does that work for us? Uh. With those, you will be able to cast Divination and Phantom Steed as uh, as rituals. So that adds 10 minutes to the regular casting time. Oh. So not... So basically not in combat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'd be spending the whole combat reading. <laughs> be like, I'm almost done, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah protect me for 100 turns guys I'll be right back right. <laughs> just keep it going okay so divination this is a spell that puts you in contact with a god or a god's servants you may ask a single question concerning a specific goal event or activity to occur within 7 days the DM myself will offer a truthful reply which may be a short phrase a cryptic rhyme or an omen this doesn't take into account any possible circumstances that may change the outcome, such as casting of additional spells or the loss or gain of a companion. Wow. And Phantom uh, Steed is... Uh, that's that's Squawk, basically. <laughs> okay. Just Squawk. Um, for the divination, though, like as long as you worship a deity, you just would speak directly to that deity only? You can pick whatever deity you want to talk to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Pick a direction in there. Okay. I thought Tachesis was the only deity around right now. Well, that was how it was at the start of things. Okay. It's been, so it's been, a, been a couple of weeks. You haven't, changing over time. You haven't, I don't think we're mm. seeing evidence of it, but I think some things are changing that way. Yeah, you haven't, you haven't tried to talk to anyone yet. That's true. Yeah, We've been busy, though. I'm sure we'll find some time after we do some reading. <laughs> you very well could. Is there anything else you guys uh, want to do? No. Thank, we would thank her very, very much. Although she's as cryptic as she is, we feel very, uh, you know, uh, just humbled by her v very, like, forthcoming attitude without really questioning much of us either. So... Thank you, I guess. Don't worry about it. Kick some ass, whatever it is you do these days. Take some names. Yeah, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll kick uh, a couple asses, asses uh, for you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Us kids will floss on the corpses of the dragons, no cap. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I understood some of those words. <laughs> oh, sorry, that made me laugh. <laughs> it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> Which way uh, uh, is it? This door right here that we go out. That's uh, the one. Door, do we go? You, you just go out the door. She's just waiting. Yeah. All right. I guess we'll let ourselves out. Thank you. And you will cluster around that door, which is kind of silly because I'm going to be giving you a new map here. 
Oh, okay. Share with everyone. Go. Oh. Oh, geez. So the door in Demolin's apartment opens up to a path that leads out to the street above. The spot marked Path of Memories. Do you guys have uh, words written on things? No. I haven't seen a word yet. I'm scrolling around. Okay, well, y'all are coming out over here. Okay. Oh, a little cave hole. Yeah, Entrance. yeah. Let's see here. A glittering sea of broken domes and jagged towers stretches before you. The nearby buildings and streets slope down into the basin of a vast, ruin-filled crater. Your vantage provides a view of the entire city, with some of its broken districts scarred by fire and flooding. Here and there, crumbled structures and massive rocks bob gently in defiance of gravity. At the city's center, a delicate tower of sharp marble and graceful buttresses rise into the sky. It is made all the taller by its rocky foundation which floats off of the ground. Ah. I am now told to give you a few moments to ask questions before continuing with the following section. Um, so, I guess the city is completely, like, devoid of, like, people living in it. It's just, like, ghost town. Yeah, it, it, it's just going to be the, uh, uh, it, the, the, dragon the dragon army. army. Yeah. Okay, okay. Have a good night, Erwin. Um, so, um, my question is kind of, like, concerning, I guess, like, the map that we're seeing, like, uh, so, at bottom left is kind of like the the part that's in the ground, and I guess the oh. top right is like the middle. All, all of this is in the ground. Like this is all okay. in a crater. But you okay, are you are slightly higher than any, the other parts. Okay. And the floating like Atlant Atlantis part. Thing. floating bit is in the middle here okay and that's that's what we're seeing at the top right of this this map uh like the oh the... i see what you're saying um yeah basically okay it helps me visualize okay are all these buildings they're all ruins pretty much Pretty much ruins, yeah. Hmm. Like you might have hmm. some things that are like somehow managed to s stay up, but. Mm -hmm. Um, I have another question, if that's okay. Yeah. So we were told to go to the Temple of Paladin. The Temple That's... of Paladin, Paladine, Palin... whatever. Palandine. Okay, so basically, oh, okay. You, you, you it's about that way. Okay, oh. like because she, yes, yeah, since she kind of told us where it was, like I guess that's that's why we know like where it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she, she gave you the like general location thing. Like she's, she'd tell you that the occupied mansion was in this area where she saw the people kind of mostly having their their mm -hmm. shenanigans at. Mm. Like, that's where right. people were coming and going. There was an occupied mansion in that part of the city. Threshold of the Heavens, that was the main location, but you want to go to the Temple of Paladine. Paladine. Okay. Tr uh, threshold of the Heavens, uh, w that's what that, part? That's the middle part. Okay, okay. The, the thing that uh, is actually have, like, floaty stuff going on. Mm-hmm. And c can we ask questions about, like, the rest of the stuff that's on the map, or I guess we're just going to have to go there? 
you're probably gonna have to go there to figure out things. You can ask questions. I might not answer them. Do you guys have questions, or should I? I think that, like, yeah, we just get a general a general sense of where everything is, and if there's been any recent activity, I guess, even from the Dragon Army. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if we probably can't discern that. More than that that sounds like an excellent time for me to give you the most recent activity from the Dragon Army. Huh? Okay. Okay. To the southwest, the crack of a shearing stone sounds from a distant temple whose grounds teem with troops. On the temple's roof, a figure holds aloft a scepter crackling with a familiar violet flame. A moment later, a skeletal dragon climbs the temple and unleashes a screech that echoes across the city. It pauses before the figure, who climbs onto the undead terror's back. Together they rise into the air and circle the city before flying south and out of sight. Hmm. Highest passive perception, that's going to be Landrin. You recognize this undead rider. This oh. is the Knight Lord Soth, whose image you saw there. In in the in the from Calaman's catacombs. Oh yeah. Hey fellas, it's that guy. That's the one that was like apologizing for hitting us in the face. No. Oh, that's the guy that was, was vision or something. Yeah, you saw him in visions. Guy. He's he was the guy who you know, who uh, cheated on his wife with or like broke up with his wife to be with a, an elf lady, and mm -hmm. then was sent on a quest to stop the cataclysm. But instead of that, returned home and murdered his his uh, his elf lady. Wow. Because, I don't know. Kind of a dick. Kind of a dick. Just just couldn't keep it together. Yeah. Since it's been a now, while, yeah. was was he released? Like, when, when we were distracted in the council chamber by all the council being killed and that dude was there that we had to fight, was Lord, was Night Lord Soth being released? No. He, he... Or was he rampaging through that looking for something? Yeah, he was just like, no clipping through the walls and going to grab the fire of the cataclysm. Ah, uh, right. And that's oh, true. why we recognize the flame. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh... And, and he's using the flames of cataclysm right now to uh, raise the dead. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, we can't let that go on. And uh, shortly afterwards, uh, you get a call on the Fargab. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, I, I pick it up. Ahoy, hoy. Are you okay? And, and this is uh, yeah, I... Tatina Rugal, Rugal Dust. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, I thought I had to sneeze. We just saw something come over the cliffs. It's a god's cursed dragon skeleton. We're retreating and the dragon armies are following. We'll keep them drawn out as long as we can. See if you can get at whoever's in charge of there. You got it. Oh, that wasn't the voice I had for Rugal Dust at all. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I, it's okay. I just remembered afterwards. Um... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. She, 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 she says, uh, "We can, we can get out of here, retreating safely. We've got, I've got some few tricks up my sleeve as well. Don't, don't rush. Just make sure you get rid of the leaders in that city." Absolutely. You keep safe now. We'll take care of it. Okay. Bye. Hang up. Ciao. Click. Does it click? I don't know. It clicks now. I mean, it's like one of those old timey phones, I think, you know, with the thing that you hold up to your ear that's like cone shaped. A receiver? Yeah, yeah. one of those. Amazing. Okay, so big, big dragon issue going that way. Mm -hmm. And we got to take care of what's in here quickly. We don't have much time, but we also don't have many tools to defeat okay. I, all I, of these people. 
Uh, hmm. That, just to be clear, that was me literally telling you, you have no time limit. Ah, you're good. Just take your time because we're they'll just hide until we're until we're done. Yeah, like you, okay. you're you're good. You can you you're good. You can yeah. do. We're not gonna get reinforcements at this point. We just gotta kind of we gotta get in there. We may have overwhelming odds, uh, but you know, it's it's us. This is our time. Oh. Hell yeah, Goonies. Oh. Okay. Did no one else watch so, Goonies? That's okay then. I did not. It's been a while. Uh, we still can't defeat all of these people, so I think we should head to that temple and see if mm -hmm. we can be gifted with some kind of divine intervention, perhaps. It, would, it might be a good place to, yeah. It could be. Marshal our forces of, of whatever sort, so yeah. If we can chart a chart a path over there and then hopefully sneak around any resistance. Yeah, or like the streets like teeming with soldiers. They're, they're not teeming like it's like mostly deserted so that there might be patrols or a couple yeah. that are just wandering through. The, yeah, there'll be patrols and stuff like that, that there are okay. in fact encounters for me to for me to roll uh, on mm. on this on this table here. You now you said when we came in on the east uh, side that we were slightly elevated. So do we have any vision from here as to any part of the city, or if we get a different vantage point, can we? You're on the highest vantage point. You can kind of see the whole spot. You can figure out like if you want to go to the Temple of Paladin, you can just head right straight there. If you want to check out uh, the Threshold of Heavens, you can do that. You want to go to the un the Occupied Mansion, you can do that. Hmm. I guess the temple makes the most sense, but, you know, does everybody want to go that way first? I'm sorry, which way? To the uh, toward, the, toward the temple. Yeah, let's do it. I I want to, you know, get this out of the way and, you know, just mm -hmm. yeah. if we have there, other places. There could be we... something useful for us mm -hmm. there to even the odds. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Sorry. So, uh, from this position, you can definitely get a, a a little bit of information here for like ten minutes of watching. You can okay. you can see that the at the central spire, that's where you can kind of see some activity from the patrols. Uh, so, in the middle there, you can also mm -hmm. see the occupied mansion, which has a little bit. Of it has some more activity there, and the bastion of Takesis down here. The Sinister Temple also has uh, things going on there. Okay. Like a oh. lot, oh, actually, like a lot. That place, that place is teeming with soldiers. Oh, okay. okay. So most of the activity of the soldiers is in the south of the city, it seems. Yeah. So yeah, I guess that it makes even more sense then. Go northwest. Yeah, you certainly can. All right. Well, I'm down for that if everybody else is. Yeah. Yep. All righty then. You're gonna you're gonna make your way that away. What do we got going for us here? As as you walk down, you see. Uh, Two enormous marble feet. The rest of the statue is missing. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Where would that be? Uh, it's just like at the end of a boulevard. This is just like something that you see as as you're making your way through. Huh. Well, so basically, uh, are we? Um, sorry, like we're gonna mm -hmm. walk like down like these little bridges. Yeah. Or like, or we're, we're just yeah. hug around the streets. So that uh, you can get down any way you guys want to. Like, mm -hmm. we're we're basically. I, think I prefer to swing more northward. <laughs> Stay away yeah. from those other circles. Yeah, further yeah, north yeah, absolutely. Further. Like, I, if there's a way that we can like kind of cross between like this this area that's like more darker, like with rubbles. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, maybe I can draw what I mean, but. 
you can you all can do whatever you want as i said yeah. um we don't like have to if, rush so we take our time just kind of hugging the the perimeter of the city i guess can i i'm just you're not able to yeah. draw things no but I, I, what no, i mean I'm is like kind of kind of go like this oh uh, yeah do you want to go like this, like that yeah, yeah kind of like yeah that. yeah yep. that makes the most That's sense to me describing pretty much yeah, yeah. If, like if it's possible to like kind of get through like this little yes absolutely uh, it is absolutely not a problem at all don't don't even worry about that what the hell okay oh yeah it was a <laughs> there um uh, f so we're just passing this uh statue with just the feet right uh question yeah. about that is there rubble or anything it's not a disturbance around the feet like it's everywhere my dude there's right. rubble everywhere you don't see any like other part of the like explicitly the rest of the statue is missing that's that's what i'm like trying to discern if i can tell that it's probably been gone a long time oh yeah yeah like when this place okay. got blown the All fuck right. up seems good it's just like a random detail that you're sure. pointing out yeah i guess yeah. right yeah oh, yeah this place is mysterious i'm just being i'm staying on my toes i guess <laughs> okay well that's not gonna stop you guys from running into two cyclopsies wow yeah yeah you you, you come across two cyclopses as yeah. they are burning books in a big bonfire for warmth and i need everyone to roll initiative that makes oh, me mad <laughs> yeah, that's kind of lame. Let's remove Demolin. Such disrespect to what was once a tree. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's fair. Haven't you heard of recycling? <laughs> right? <laughs> use, some, use some twigs or something else. For God's sake. All right. All right. All right, I need to find the musics. Uh, the musics, other battles, other battles. Oh, I got five. All right. And it's forever sluggish. Uh, we're going to be theater of the minding this. Okay. And uh, kill, but you are the first one in combat. So you get to be the first. Yeah, and we're outside, right? You are, in fact, outside. Hmm. And it is still daylight. You, ro you rolled a Yeah. Phone. You can always choose to delay an action until someone gets in range. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. All right. You just, you just... I get all of my attacks on that, or what, can I just ready one attack? Uh, No, you ready the action, which is the attack action. And since... You're readying this on the first round of combat. You get all three. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I would like to do. Okie dokie then. Ready it until yeah somebody gets into melee range. Alrighty then. Uh, Buster is gonna do that. He's gonna go ahead and just uh zoop on up, and he's gonna go for. Just, just a glaive attack on the mommy. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Try this again. Mm. Much better. Oh. He goes up and misses a slash, does another slash, does minimal damage, goes around for the backswing. Hits on the backswing, not bad. And that will be Buster's turn. Uh, he's in close enough. Kill, do you want to do your uh, volley, please? Yeah. First shot on the mob as well, because that's who he's closest to. Mm hmm. Excellent, that's a hit. No. 
minimal damage. All right, then. But uh, go ahead and roll the hit for the next one. Oh, 21 will definitely do it. All right, much better that time. Max damage plus minimal damage e equals out to average damage. You have a third mm -hmm. attack. Okay. 25 will absolutely hit. It's a trade for sure. All right. So first two members of your party have run in and a flurry of slashes and arrow hits have struck this Cyclops and does not Cyclops does not seem to be all that bothered at the moment. Oh. Up next in the order is Stripey. Okay, what, what do I want to do? You know, can we what? Can we tell this is a mother and son, or is that just what's on there? Um, I don't know if you can tell this is a mother and her adult son. So probably not. We don't know these people. You don't know them. Um. Uh, anyway, I say to the son. Um. Uh, I just. Hey, ugly fuck. Uh, why don't you... Uh, why don't you go find your monocle? <laughs> uh, uh, I will let but... you know that uh, Cyclops... Uh, they speak giant exclusively. Uh, but... Mm. I mean, that that is nice. But where the hell is my abilities? Uh, I have universal speech oh that's right <laughs> ah. all right um when i'm i, I can't them. understand other people but other people can understand me huh. uh, as far as i understand this ability yeah you have a one-way universal translator yeah. exactly anyway the point is uh that it needs to make a wisdom saving throw Oh, I see. You you the, you, the you were in, you were insulting it. Yeah, I for vicious I mockery. <laughs> My brain's not as good as the last time I used this. That's okay. Wisdom saving throw, you say? Yeah. Not the strong suit. I gotta tell you. But somehow. And yet somehow. Was that well, seventeen? Okay. Well, that was a waste of turn. That's okay. You did your best. Fine. Time for the mother. Okay, well, what do you got going for you here? Two great club attacks. Okay, then. Uh, Buster is all up into business. Okay, that's a miss. That one's a hit, though. So the mother has this great club and swings down and Buster ducks down, but then on the backswing gets smacked hard for a fair chunk of damage. Landrin, you are next in the order. All right. Uh, geez, these, yeah, they seem a little perturbed. We haven't even really hurt them that much yet. Um, I would like to try as I'm reading um, for hold person, which I have at level two, will not right work. Does that, these, that work? No, you need hold monster for these things. Oh, because I thought humanoid would still include. Them. No, human um, humanoid means playable race. Uh, okay, I don't know if I've actually even tried to use it before. Um, I think then I'll go for. Are, are the mother and son... I know we're theater in the money, so is mother and son uh, within five or even ten feet of each other? Yeah, they're relatively close to each other. That's, that's when combat started. All right. So if I try to hit them with uh, a call lightning on a square between... Oh, easily. Them, they both be affected by it? Easily. Okay, yeah. I'm going to bring some lightning down on them then. All right. So that's going to be dex saves for both of them. 
Dirty saving throw for you. Jeez. Dexterity saving throw for you. Okay, roll damage for call lightning. All right. Not, okay. not too bad. The lightning hits the mother much more powerfully than it does the sun. Okay, that's the one we hit first, so that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Next up in the order will be Eggshell, unless you have anything else you want to do, Landron. I don't think so. Probably be casting again next turn, so I'll pass. All righty. Eggshell, your turn. Hello. Hi. Um. Hi. <laughs> so... Hi. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw my dancing sword. Okay, bonus action to do the dancing sword. Yes, and then I draw my actual sword, silver sword, and I will. Well, I'm gonna you know run in and just start like attacking. I guess the uh, the one that's closest to me. All right, then. That, we'll just say that's the mother. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen is a hit. Roll damage. You stab you into the you stab into the ogress and draw blood. This, this monster is now bloodied. Roll to hit for your second attack. Eleven, I'm pretty sure we'll miss, yep. Uh, but roll the attack for your silver sword. Oh, the dancing? Yeah, dancing. That's what I meant. Okay, just the one hit from you right now. Perfect. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna stay like, you know, shield up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, get that shield up. All right. Well, the sun's gonna come on in and it is going to attack you with its great club at range, eggshell. It has a range of ten feet. Mm-hmm. So roll to hit. <gasps> that was so close to a nat twenty. Did you see that? Whoa. Yes, I did. Oh, that would have been so good, though. Okay. And second attack. All right. Oh. Ow. So he, he, this guy sees you, like, smack his mommy. And he just, like, runs up to you and, like, big great club back over his head and just down on you twice rapid succession. Just bam, bam. Y yeah. Smash. Yeah. And Angry smash. Angry smash. Kill, it's your turn. Okay. Gonna keep shooting at the mom. Okay. What since since I'm in range, no. like does that do anything for, for kill? Um Buster's in range for the mom. Oh uh, okay, okay. All True. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a miss on the mother. That makes sense. Oh, an even worse shot. Yeah, unfortunately, you miss. Okay. <laughs> that's that's my turn. All right then. Okay, we got Buster up next. What what do we got going for us, Buster? Okay, here's what Buster is going to do. Buster is going to. Roll to attack the mother first. Hmm. That's a hit. Excellent. And that's going to be a goading attack. Yeah. Buster hasn't gotten hurt yet. He should be. Draw an aggro if you can. And wisdom save. 
Prepare the mother. Not this thing's strong suit. It's <laughs> rolled a zero, so excellent. It is now goaded. All right. And he's going to use his second attack and range to attack the sun. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, and let's do the save on the sun. He has failed. Sun is also goaded. So that's one, two of those used, and he'll use his bonus action to second wind. Oh god, why'd it just vanish? I didn't want it gone yet. Oh. Please let me do this on myself. There we go. Nice. Okay. Good as we're gonna get. Oh. Stripey, you're next. Okay. Um, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm just gonna. All right, I'm gonna play a tune that will conjure up some swirling knives around the mother. Okay, swirling knives around the mom. And that's just going to be her turn right now, so go ahead and do it. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Not bad, not bad. What is Mother going to do? She has been goaded. And is going to work on that goad. Uh, that's not right. Hmm. But she would have missed anyways. Well, if we'll drop the 20, he'll still take the 19. That's that's incorrect. I want this. The buster gets smacked the once, but otherwise seems to be okay. Landrin, mm -hmm. you are next in the order. Okay. Well, they, uh, the sun moved up to attack Eggshell, mm -hmm. so are they still close? Yeah, they're, they're still close, because Eggshell had attacked the mom. Right. Um, if I use another Call Lightning, is Eggshell at risk, or...? You can, you can aim it so that you don't hit, so that you only hit the okay. enemies. Or with, like, the back squares. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna do that again. All righty then. Go ahead and roll me the beautiful bean damage. Yeah, big numbers. That's, that's some real good numbers. Dex save 16 for the one. Dex save. Fucking shit for that one. That one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And what is your spell save, DC, Landrin? Uh, 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 9 is 16, so it save. tied. Oh, it, it would have tied you, so that means oh, it. So does it go to me, then? No, tie goes to the runner. It goes to the runner. Okay. So Meets it, damage. beats it. Half damage on the sun. Okay. But full damage on the mom. Full damage on the mom, and mom is not looking so good right now. Yeah. Eggshell, it's your turn now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, hmm. Took a hit to the face really bad, but 
Um, so, you know, I'm still gonna attack the, the, the mom. Okay, attack the mom there. I'm gonna keep going with the mom. 19 uh, is a hit on the mom. Go ahead and roll damage. Seven points of damage. Slash. And his mom's not doing so hot, but is just hanging in there. Second hit. Mm. 16 is a hit. Roll damage. Ugh. <laughs> Minimal damage. Just enough for the mother to stay up. Mm-hmm. And then dancing sword. <laughs> then dancing sword. Yeah. Revenge. Oh. Yeah. Fifteen. Oh. Is a hit. Oh. All oh, right. Nice. Uh, you you kill it. You you you, you kill it. <laughs> <laughs> it had like it. one, it one HP. Already dead. <laughs> Two, but yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to carve like a different like thing in the flesh, you know, like a unicorn or something. Edward scissor hands. Anyways, uh, my turn is done. <laughs> yeah, and now it's time for the sun. The sun now has a complex for the remaining seconds of his life, right. seeing his mom die. Enraging it, just sort of. Yeah, no, he's he's not make sense anymore. He's not happy at all. He is ten okay, feet yeah. away. He is ten feet away from you, and what he's going to do is he's going to grab a rock and throw it at you and grab another rock and throw it at you again with disadvantage because he has been goaded. Oh. It's a pretty big fucking rock, by the way, so uh, look out. That's a big rock. It's a big rock. And with disadvantage again. Okay, the second rock misses. Oh. But, uh, you ain't looking so hot there, are you, mister? You, you just got a boulder thrown at your face. Who did? Eggshell. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Eggshell, you okay? Um, uh, I, I mean, at least it can't knock out my teeth because I have a beak, right? Fine. Uh... Yeah. Way to look at the bright side. That, uh, I mean, that is a statement of fact. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we we turn around to the order of Kilb. Uh, no one is within five feet of this uh, sun, though, Kilb. Well, that's lame. You want to ready in action? You can. It's about to be like, looks like someone has to pull out my short sword. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I, I will ready an attack for <laughs> when someone gets up close to it. All right, so Buster is going to step in and you just roll your attack now. <laughs> what if I kill it before Buster gets a chance to with this natural 20? I mean, you did get a natural yeah. 20. I, I will tell you, I'm pretty sure you're not going to do over 100 points of damage in a single turn. You underestimate my power. I don't. I I, I really don't. You don't. You've got two D8s to deal with. Watch this. Yeah. Okay, so you've done less than one tenth. Less than one tenth of the number that you need to do. Easy peasy. I got attack. I got one more attack. You have one more attack. No, oh, it's a 17 though. That's not bad. You, you, that's still a hit. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Once again, yeah, still, still less than one tenth. You are now over one tenth of the way there, but you didn't kill it in one turn. I'm sorry. Hey, hey don't worry. The, the battle will get back to me. I got more damage to deal. That, yeah, but that wasn't what we were talking about. <laughs> nah, I, I forgot what we were talking about. We, you were talking about killing it in one turn before Buster had a turn. It's not... Yeah, well, I'll get another turn. One of these turns. <laughs> Gotta be. You just you're just channeling that cobalt energy, aren't you, right now? Lovable goofus. Okay, so Buster rolls to attack and misses. I, apparently, I dragged the word "sun" and was about to drop that somewhere. That's weird. 
Oh, second attack hits. That's nice. Excellent. We have we have done the damage. And that's all we're gonna do for now. Oh no, wait, we can get the bonus action. Hmm. Bonus action attack. It splendid. Excellent. All turns have been activated. Stripey, you're next. Okay, well, with eggshell there bleeding the fuck out, I uh, with with urgency I shift my tune from the dagger whirling tune to uh, uh, the one that makes their heads explode. Um, but uh, with extra urgency. Um, mm. Uh, triple urgency, I should say. Um, I'm casting it to level three. Uh, so they have a... There's a wisdom save they have to do. Oh, okay, that's a failure. Uh, okay, let me make sure. Well, what's the one that makes uh, their head explode? Is that Psychic Lance? Uh, oh, oh, I have two. Okay, <laughs> that's right. I have two that make their heads explode. Uh, no, this is Dissonant Whispers. Oh, okay. Uh, it makes them scared. Yes. Okay. Yeah, psychic lances explode. It make heads explode. Um, Distant whispered is make afraid. Okay, so hopefully they'll be very afraid. Um, well, they failed the save. Did did uh, fail the save. Extra one d six for every slot above first. Okay, so who mama? That's good. And oh right, I need to actually put this in. Yeah, I don't know how to add die to. Uh, oh, you right click. To a spell. You just right click. Okay, I put that in there, and it has to use his reaction to run away from you. All right, which means that Buster can use his reaction for a glaive attack. And that's a hit. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Anything else you're doing on this turn, Stripey? Yeah, I'll give some encouragement to Landrin. Okay, Landrin yeah. gets Bardic Inspiration. I'm inspired. And it's Landrin's turn, even. Oh, all right. Ah. Yeah, I'm ready now. I guess, um... I gotta focus on the, uh, some heals this turn, because uh, Eggshell's gonna... If he gets hit again, we might be in, in serious trouble here. You could, um, in fact, be in so trouble. I'm, yeah, actively, definitely needing it. So I'm gonna... Um... Just looking through this real quick, because I don't have too many slots left. If you use Cure Wounds, you can still use your bonus action for Call Lightning. Okay. I mean, I feel like uh, as long as they stay up and and healthy, the Buster and Eggshell should do plenty of damage on their own. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm going to actually... Yeah, I'm going to cast Healing Spirit... Uh, on top of where Eggshell is. So that's just oh. gonna place a ghostly, like, familiar, or like, I don't know, I guess I'm picturing like a Patronus or something. Yeah. Just kind of enveloping them, and they heal 1d6 on their turn. Yeah, heal 1d6 on that turn. Right. All right. And I can move it as a bonus action, but I can I also use Balm of the Sun and Record as a bonus action still? Uh, no, you can only, like, this healing spirit spell is a bonus action, so you can't yeah. use two bonus actions. I can't use two, I guess. Like I said, uh, if you want to use your action for healing, you need to use Cure Wounds. I guess I'll have to use Cure Wounds then, because the bonus action might as well be, yeah, one of those. All right, then I'll do Cure Wounds as a level four, just because I have slots for it right now. All right. 
Go ahead and roll, uh, roll that heal. Okay. One, okay. So, two, three, four. So it's four D, D4, right? Uh, no. Cure Wounds is, is, uh, is not a D4. Oh, wait, wait. I did Healing Word. Okay, disregard that. Hang yeah. on a second. Uh, it's one D8. Plus... Plus your spellcasting yeah, okay. modifier. Plus, so uh, it's four d eight. Yeah, because right? level four. Uh, correct. Oh, Twenty two yeah. points of healing. All right. Yeah. Okay, you've done healing, and that was your action. You still have a bonus action that you can use, either for Balm of the Summer Court, if you want to do more healing, or you can use Call Lightning to do damage. Oh well, I'll use Call Lightning. All right. Use call lightning. That is. Oh, and and I need to do the save. All right, you actually did full damage, though, so that's nice. Oh, okay. Good my last slot, so might as well be full damage. Oh, it doesn't take any slots to use Call Lightning. Oh. Well, alright. I'm just doing the slot for the Cure Wounds, then. Yeah. Uh, call... right. There you go. Yeah, for Call Lightning, it's one slot for the first time, and then as long as you keep concentration, that's just a bonus action. It doesn't cost any more. Any more slots. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah. Then I'm, I'm good, for sure. Yeah. And you have more spell slots than you thought you did. Oh, I sure do. All right, uh, eggshell. It is your turn next. Okay. So I'm in a uh, hurt, anger, uh, angry bard mode. Hurt, so, uh, angry I'm... bard mode. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna attack. No. I'm gonna attack. Thirteen. Unfortunately, thirteen is a miss. All right. Twenty-four will hit. Absolutely. So I'm gonna just finish this and divine smite with my last spell slot. All right. Divine smite with your spell slot. Smite him. Uh. Where's the vine smite? Okay, here. Um, and it's the second level, so I'm gonna use the uh, 3d8 thing. Yes. There. Ooh, mama. All right, so you stab him like in the thigh or whatever, and then the burning fire of your divine smite sears right through him and he is bathed in golden holy light and dies. Yeah. Good job. A angry bird noises. Angry yeah. bird noises indeed. Victory <laughs> walk. <Yeah. laughs> Good okay. shit. So, so did they, what, what, what's the deal? Were they looking at something? Were they? They were just something? they were just burning books in a fire to keep warm oh, right. and cook their food. Oh. Uh, I want to see what the books were. Uh, yeah, did, did any make it? Uh, the, the the mating uh, rituals of the lurgs or the floofs or whatever oh, wow. the hell it's called. Uh, oh. I'm going to take that for my own personal reasons. <laughs> okay. You're a freak. For a fire later, right? Obviously. It's fire in his bedroom, maybe. Eh. <laughs> uh, the economics of some old kingdom that it doesn't exist anymore. You know, it's it's a whole oh, bunch wow. of bullshit. Yeah. It's not any, any good the books. Lost Tales, Volume 3, that you already have five copies of in your inventory. Exactly. Okay, that's it then. Jeez. I feel kind of bad, actually. 
Yeah, and mother and son that were just trying to keep warm. No, they 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 totally saw you and were ready to tear you apart to eat you. Oh, yeah. All right. First. I mean, they did throw a very big rock at eggshell. They did throw a very big rock at eggshell. Yeah. I mean, they were they were seeing like, you know, chicken breasts, ah, uh, right, chicken wings. Yeah, over the fire, right? Uh, over easy eggs. <laughs> Four oh my fried gosh. chickens in a coat. Yeah. Wow. I, mean, I can understand. Can you though? It's a book way. Uh, I don't know. Negligible doesn't matter. Between all of us, we can carry a few books. I'll just say one. All right. Well, anyways, y'all are heading over to the uh, the temple of Paladine. So, Paladine. Whatever people people are going to be upset about me saying things wrong. I realized something. Yeah, um, sounds all right. Since uh, the Calaman army is not in any danger currently, um, maybe we could take a long rest. Uh, here. Well, I mean, maybe not immediately wherever we're standing, but we could like mm -hmm. a place. Yeah. And we, we know how people, like, uh, warm themselves up by burning books, right? Nobody's taking my Lurg porn. Oh. <laughs> you're you're, you're going to make sure it's, a, yeah, it makes it back, but... <laughs> but I mean, sure, by the way, yeah, we, the mating rituals of the Lurg are not very interesting. It's it's very, very dry. Like, you, the, the male Lurg... The male Lurg selects... A length of wood no longer okay. than this but no shorter than this and it's sharpens the there might be a dirty limerick you know written in the back it's not there's not oh uh, right, well enjoy <laughs> you don't know what stripey's into no I, that's okay i respect it all right y'all want to take a long rest i'll oh. give you a long rest Yay. I mean, I was going to say also that they're not going to leave this area cause since it's occupied and they're just they're not going to leave it unoccupied. So where are they going to go? That seems to be the gist of it, based on what we saw on the way in, I guess. Yeah, basically. OK, good. All right. Long rest. Long rest. Honk shoe. <laughs> OK. So you're making your way to the Temple of Paladine. And this area is the in the flooded northwestern district. Buildings here will rise like islands from streets clogged with water and pondweed. Although the streets around the temple are flooded, the structure sits atop it like a hill. It, uh, rather, it sits atop a hill that keeps it out of the deepest water. But it is still uh, flooded, as you can all see now. Ta-da! The temple and its grounds are lit by natural light alone. During the day, bright light will fill the exterior area. But at night, everything will be in darkness. Hmm. What time is it? Uh, what time do you want it to be? You just took a long rest. Time for you to get a watch. I'm sorry. That sounds logical. <laughs> yeah. You, you, but seriously, though, you all just took a long rest, so you can decide if you rested until, you know, daylight came out, or if you stayed until, you know, night came around again, or what? What time was it before we took a long rest? Irrelevant to the question. Hmm. Well, long rest has a minimum amount. Yeah, it has a minimum amount, but hours. no maximum amount. Yeah, long rest has has to be at least eight hours long, but you could have rested for like twelve hours or twenty yeah. hours or all the way around to uh, the next, the following morning. All right, then it's morning. I would, I would, I would say the morning. I don't see any reason for it to be night or anything. All right, um, works better at night. Yeah, Kilp works better at night. Yeah, I suppose Kilp works better at night. 
but maybe <laughs> others of us would be blind. Yeah. Like, Ex well, I'm I'm a, I'm an owl. Like I yeah. I, I have dark vision. I Li would be fine. Literally, the only person who doesn't have dark vision is Buster. Oh, well, we'll just lead him around and stuff, and you know, hold his you know fluffy paws and stuff so that he's. He can get around okay. I mean, you, like, you also you you, you also have a source of light in the in the light globe. Oh yeah. So then we we could just do it at night if it would give us any advantage over them. Yeah, you might. You, then it's nighttime. Right. I guess then it's nighttime. Yeah. Ilb cannon. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Okay, All right. So we're really infiltrate sneaky like. Infiltrate and sneaky like. All right. Ahead, the water deepens into a broad. Okay, thanks for that Windows update. I don't care. Huh? Uh, ahead, the water deepens into a broad pond broken by the roof lines of submerged buildings. An embankment rising just above the water is covered in a cluster of violet-leafed trees. The half-drowned ruins of a temple are visible beyond. A platinum triangle gleams on its leaning belfry. Uh, this causeway rises over water that's 20 feet deep. From it, you can see into the Grounds and the Temple of Paladine itself. Uh, roll me a uh, religion check, people. Okay. Okay, Landrin, you recognize the Platinum Triangle as the symbol of the god Paladine. Oh, all right. What's well, a passive perception, everybody? Let's have a look, see at everyone. Passive perception. Okay, Landrin. Um, mm -hmm. you can notice hints of figures wearing red and black clothing among the tree branches in the area ahead, the raised area there. Oh. Uh, you can see that these are Dragon Army soldiers that are motionless in the trees. Hmm. Huh. Motionless as in... petrified? As in motionless. That's all you get. Okay. How far away are they right now? Uh, lit literally, like, this bit. That's that. They're in there. They're in the trees there. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we're being watched. Maybe we shouldn't be here. <laughs> if they're motionless in here at night, maybe they're sentries. I mean, it's possible. Are maybe they one of us goes motionless to or like motionless? Right. If you know what I mean. The information right. that you get is motionless without any inflection. Okay. It's a yeah. uh, we have to flash mob. Find out. <laughs> um. Okay. How about how about this, everybody? We all stay really still. I wild shape into something real small. I go and check it out, and I come back and let us mm. know. Yeah, I. I was thinking of that, like, um, what if they have, like, those, like, fancy, like, mages that can detect everything, like, magic? Whoa, there are mages like that? Like, no, but remember, like, the... Um, back back in the previous spot, it was literally, like, full of mages who were using detect magic all day, every day, basically. Mm -hmm. Oh. But this is not that location. Okay, so there could be, but... Probably not. Yeah, yeah basically. I mean, it could be a, a very uh, elaborate defense, but I. it also could be something that had already happened here. I don't know. I mean, that's mm -hmm. why I think I should investigate it. And yeah. the fewer of us investigating, the better. Good enough okay. idea as any. I'm, yeah. right. I'm concerned, because if they're 
motionless because they are in some kind of a trap that's on the temple. And what if you get caught in that trap, too? Well, then you'll have to save me. Good so point. If you turn into a fly, we could uh, attach like a little string on you. Oh, yeah, no. Just... I like that idea. <laughs> put put so we... something on me and just let me get close enough and you can pull me out if it gets too dicey. <laughs> can we do that? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're probably not going to want to be a fly for that, though, but you can be like... Um... Right. Like a beetle or a spider again. Uh, I mean, no, you you have access to flight now, so you can be a bird. Are you? Oh, yeah. okay. I'll be like a sparrow or something. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I, I become be a, a sparrow, kite. and I let someone very very gently tie like a little string around my my foot, and then I just sort of very gently fly over there. And just sort of check out the closest one without getting too close. And if I like, if if I flap my wings really fast or something, you all just you yank me back, okay? I say Sounds this before okay. I become. A bear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay, thank you. All right, what happens? <laughs> you know, uh, we're uh, talking uh, am I? bird brother. What yeah, what right? what like what you're... yeah? What, what specifically are you doing as you're heading in I'm, there, Landrin? I'm, I'm flying up as close as I can to to one of them, and just trying to see. Oh, screw it! I'll fly right up to one and just like look right at it and see if he even notices that I'm there. Okay. I don't see any any other real option. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna. You're going to zoop on in there. Right. And. Do you like settle down on on a tree branch or are you just flapping your wings and flying and looking at one of them? I I settle on a branch, hopefully close by around the same height as. What one of these guys in the. OK, uh, you see, so you could tell this this thing's dead. Like the, the, yeah, this this soldier's dead, 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 dead. Uh, dead, tree like no tree like one piece. Yeah, Im impaled through on a tree branch or whatever. Oh, impaled, you say? Yeah, sure. and and as you as you as you're like on this tree branch that you're on, you can feel it, you know, swaying under you in the breeze, and then it oh. move and then it moves and you know it moves in very much not swaying in the breeze way and you're being held up to a wooden face as and the uh, tree ant that you are currently on is looking at you and says hello there servant of nature um, how pleased i am to see one of your kind and not these invasive species trying to fell my trees. Oh, I bid you return to your normal form that we might converse a moment. OK, I uh... congratulations on stumbling into the way that you don't immediately get attacked. Yeah, <laughs> by yeah. sending the I... fucking druid in. <laughs> I mean, I was going to suggest this anyway, but yeah, I'm kind of glad it was me for this reason. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm going to slowly just sort of nod very, you know, specifically so that the tree ant can tell. And then I sort of flutter down to the ground and, uh, you know, disengage the wild form and then greet them and, and apologize for being deceitful but we had to make sure that our party is safe going into this unknown area and we never expected their kind to be here there is no dis there is no deceit in a druid such as yourself using the magic of nature to become part of nature Hmm. Though your prudence was certainly 
a good choice. I have been a bit miffed lately. For the past several thousand years since the fall of Anyari, I am the guardian of the gardens of this town. I have endured both the fall of the city and the cataclysm. These invaders have been trying to fell my trees for wood. I have killed them and will continue to kill these invasive species that disturb my plants. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Well, Landrin's sort of taken aback at the sudden revelation of what they've been going through and just with sort of sweeping gesture of remorse and empathy for their position after they've seen and the rise and fall of everything here, I guess, just sort of trying to grasp their, their perspective on it. Uh, I ask if I could call my companions over so that they could hear of what happened here as well. I give you and your companions leave to move and enter the temple as you see fit, certainly. Just stay away from my trees. Promise to not disturb them. Oh, I absolutely will. You've all clearly been through enough. So, yeah. Thank you. We will respect your grounds. I knew you would understand. And with that, the Treant uh, simply uh, takes up a more tree-like pose, and mm. you are free to pass through the next area. To the next area. All right. This is well, so fucking cool. I just had to like pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty I'm just good. Like kind of like a Deku tree sort of moment where it sort of stiffens up and just becomes like, yeah, go ahead. All right. So we pass through. All righty. So you folks just move on forward this way. Oh, why is this closed? Should be open. There we go. And we're going into P3. Inside this ring of trees, the ground lowers, creating a flooded bowl. Here, a roughly triangular temple rises from the water. Its north side is largely crumbled and its belfry is leaning. The temple's doors are half-coated with water, have begun succumbing to rot, but the platinum inlays of dragons will still shine. Um, How deep is the water? Um, there, there, is, there is something for that earlier. General... Area P3 through P6 are flooded by three feet of water and are difficult terrain for creatures without a swimming speed. Okay. So you're good. And... So, here's the thing. You didn't do any combat, so... You have, you have in fact, stumbled upon... A creature. Oh. What kind of creature? Uh. It's, uh, hang on a second. I need to get some information on this thing. It's, uh. It looks like a fish. Looks like an ugly fish. Na, 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 na. fish. No, it just looks kind of like an ugly fish. Okay. 
um, showing it on the stream here. I'll just share it all to you. It looks like this. Oh. You just like in in the water there, and you appear oh. to have uh, you appeared to have uh, come up on it. Everyone, stretch and hydrate. Gato is here. Uh, thank you. Hold on, Gato. And uh, he spies you all and says, "How did you get past that trillion? And uh, pr he prepares to fight. Oh, jeez. Everyone, roll initiative. We're trying to go to the planet core. <laughs> <laughs> initiative. Ah, oh, it's still terrible. Oh my god. I mean, <laughs> at least you didn't get a one. Jeez, Stripey. Oh. <laughs> Just so, putting us all to shame. Yeah. So, I would like to... Uh, well, pretty high. Yeah, okay, so I'm going first. I would like to immediately cast Calm Emotions because I don't think this guy should be our enemy if he's with the Treants. I mean, you're making yeah. some well, assumptions I there. Cast them. I mean... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Possibly. I am making assumptions. They might be incorrect, but I've never used this spell before. <laughs> okay. So no better time than the present. Let's have a look at what Calm Emotions does. It is a chill pill, bro. Well, it's saved on Calm Emotions anyways, yeah, so... It's saved against Aww. it. All right. He refuses to be chill. He, he refuses to be chill. <laughs> uh, so that's your action. Doing anything else? Uh, no. All right. Uh, Kilb. Yeah. Wait, he's still pretty far away from us, isn't he? Yeah, he's pretty far away. This is inside the temple now? It's in the water. So this is in the water around the temple. Okay. Yeah, he, he is in the water. It is nighttime, though. Hmm. Yeah, so I can at least see him. Well, I'll at least cast Hunter's Mark on him. Yeah, you cast Hunter's Mark on him. That much. Uh, should I do the same thing and store one of my moves or store my actions? I mean, you I don't... you probably like it's it's nighttime, so you can still do it. Yeah, we you don't like... know how he would attack or anything. So if you want to be on the defensive at first, that's probably fine. Like, it's going to be harder for people to get up there because the water is the water. Yeah, mm -hmm. is difficult yeah, terrain. I'll, I'll just go ahead and shoot at him then. With just average attacks. Well, some 26 should do it. Uh, 26 will absolutely hit it. Okay. Cherry Blossom Vape is dangerous around Kitsune's. Oh dear. Damage to this thing. It's called a Marid, by the way. Uh, so that's your first attack. It's an air tricky. Though. 20 will do it. All right, and you get your third attack. 26 absolutely does it. Make sure you add your uh, extra die. Ugh. A nice volley of blows comes from Kilb. That was 27, 36 in one turn. What have I got going for me here? Hmm. 
All right, just a, there's just some fun things that I can do here. I need to decide what I want to do. Fun things? Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fun DM thing. Oh, because it says I thought you were, like, thinking up a reaction to being attacked. No. Uh, it's, it's, it's turn now. Okay. Nobody's, none of us are in the water yet, right? Correct. Okay, good. is going to just go ahead and swim up mm. and is going to attack with his trident on eggshell. Of course. Miss. Oh, double miss. God dang. Well done, Marit. Very good at this. Apparently not. Tridents like have three points that I can block, so you know. Oh, is easily. that is that how that works? Kind of like, yeah. Parry, parry. Sling. All right. That is its turn. Buster's turn next. Yeah. Buster's gonna run on up and is going to attack and Buster's gonna try and do a disarming strike take that trident right out Strength save. Let's see how this works. Failure. It is being disarmed. Wonderful. Huh. And roll damage. Roll to attack again. Second one is a miss. Unfortunate. Mm, yeah, let's action surge and going to attack again. All the attacks. Of course. Hmm. And final bonus action attack to get the back end going. All right, Buster has done some fucking damage. Hmm. Landrin, you're next. All right. Uh, I don't know if he's still in the water. I don't know if did Buster run up into the water after no, him, or did no, he's... he come up to the water line? I guess he came up to the water line. Okay, so if I, I'm thinking about casting Call Lightning again, but you know, a lot of water everywhere. So, are we good? To, am I good to just hit him and not anybody else? Yeah, you would not hit anyone else. Okay. Yeah. Safety first. Uh, I'll call down lightning and shock this guy. Okay. Uh, call lightning. Bam. Saving throw. That's a failure. All right. You have called down lightning. He has been struck by lightning, but he doesn't seem to be all that 
you know, he's definitely been hurt by it, but not a whole lot. Huh. That's concerning. I guess that's, uh, that's it. All right, then. Up next in the order is Eggshell. Um... Mm-hmm. So... I am going to... Bless the party. All right, you cast Bless. Who all's getting blessed? Uh, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say Buster, Kilb, and uh, Stripey. Buster, Kilb, and Stripey. Just because they're like the closest to me. All right. Yeah. All those folks have got a bless on them. That's your action. Anything else you want to do? Um, I guess I'm I'm gonna throw the dancing sword. That's a bonus action, absolutely. And make a roll and attack for the dancing sword. <gasps> oh, that was so close. That was so close. Whoa. And it's a miss. I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck. Ah. Okay. I... All right. <laughs> uh, Stripey, it's your turn now. Well, I tried to reason with it through magic. That didn't yeah, work. Right. Uh, the best kind of reasoning. So, um. yeah. So now I'll, uh, I'll I'll play a disturbing tune that will hopefully make it scared. Uh, da, 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 da. is this gonna wisdom saving throw my ass? Yeah, it will. Yeah, it did. I'm sorry. This guy is just too smart. Well, so do I get anything? Do I get like half on save? For most, it takes half as much damage, and yeah, I have to move away. Okay. Yeah, so roll damage. Well, that's not very much. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. Kilb. Yes. You're next. All right. Do I get advantage? You do get so advantage. There is okay. That's a very good question. That's a miss. Egg. Yeah, it didn't have very good rolls. 22 will hit. Okay. Okay. Anything else you would like to do? Uh, no, I don't think I can. Okay. I am going to need eggshell to move yourself so that you're in a in all the way within one square. Oh, um, like this. Okay, you're going that way. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do at all. You, you, and you. This will work, right? This is how this works. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, okay. three failures and one success. Okay, so this thing has just used a water jet. And 
has done some good damage to Eggshell, oh, Stri lost concentration. and Stripey, and Landrin. Oh. Stripey, or uh, Eggshell did in fact lose concentration. And Eggshell and Stripey have been knocked prone. I did oh, wow. not sign up to be a target in Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> right? I lost concentration too. Dang it. Yeah, that's sadly the case. But that is going to be his turn, and then up next is Buster. What are you going to do with Buster? You're disarmed, so that's cool. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to minimize that. And we're going to roll the hit on the Marid. Let's miss. How about this one? That one's a hit. Cool. Well, since you've knocked... Since he's knocked all the friends prone... Let's see if, uh... You can get a save. Fails the save! Hell yeah! It's gonna fall prone. Oh no. And... Prone. Excellent. Okay. Goes up with the back end. And hits. All right. Landrin. Mm -hmm. uh, you're still standing. I'm still standing. I, uh... Don't really know. I guess I could just try call lightning again. It's not. It hurt him, but not that badly. He said, "Right." That that is correct. The lightning damage didn't do a whole lot. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit it again. Hopefully, I hold concentration this round. Alrighty then. Okay. Where are you? Oh, lightning. Give us a deck save. What do we got going for us here? Okay, so that damage is halved, and then you don't do a whole lot of anything, really, as the lightning does still strike. Yeah. Well, there it is. All right. Up next is Eggshell. You are currently prone. You just got knocked in your ass with a jet of water. Right. Um, so I guess uh, I get up and I'm going to try and attack it. Okie dokie. Because I'm not moving from there, so... Sixteen is a miss, unfortunately. Oh. That's definitely a miss. I guess my dancing sword is gonna try. Yeah, your dancing sword is gonna try. This is attack number two of the dancing sword. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Fifteen is a miss. Guys, slippery. Yeah. Very slippery. Stripey, it's your turn now. You are on your ass. Mm. Well, I'm going to get up in a very indignant manner. <laughs> uh, I guess use my my movement to brush my ass off and nothing else. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I'll try shooting it with my crossbow, because magic doesn't seem to be doing anything for me. And that's the kind of logic that Stripey, Stripey's brain runs on. Mm. Fair enough. Uh, 
Oh, sorry. We forgot to remove the prone effect before you rolled. Go ahead, roll again. Okay, that's much better. Roll damage. Stripey, very, like, looks like a wet cat, stands all up, shakes some water off, pulls out a cross, a hand crossbow, and just hits the guy in the, in the face. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Killed, you are next. I'm next. I'm gonna take a couple shots. Yes, 19 is a hit. Okay. You have now done enough damage for it to be called bloody. Nice. We're making headway. Yeah. What color is its blood? Glorin. What? <laughs> That's what? color. It, 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 the color of its blood is Schmormb. Okay. Oh, yeah. I did my living room in that color. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this guy stands up. Corpy. I mean, you gotta have something cooler than this, right? Water jet. Hey, he looks like he's got some crafty tricks. I'm sure. I mean, this guy's got fucking bullshit. He doesn't have any cool spells. It's all stuff like tongues. Oh, you've got tongues. Oh, you've got water walk. You're not going to use those in combat. Uh, if he has to run away real fast, maybe. I mean, if he wants to do that, then he can just turn into water. Right. Anyways, let's, uh... You. Is he carrying his you. turn, or was he disarmed? No, he's still disarmed. You. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, anyways, none of y'all moved, so... Guess what time it is? Water jet. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. You were supposed to be included into this. Landron wasn't included. Oh? Uh, I'm just gonna ignore the previous one and do the full rolls again. Okay. Got the one. Six success failure. I took oh. it to the face. Yeah, just sprayed really hard there. <laughs> it went into your what? <laughs> that meme of the dog going wargle bargle or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Stripey gets knocked prone. Everyone else uh, takes some damage. Maybe slightly less damage. It's Buster's turn again. Um. Yum yum water. <laughs> that's attack. Okay, yeah, that's a hit. Good. Let's try a goading attack. Uh, get him. Okay, it has been goaded. Okay. And we do damage. We attack it again. All right. And yeah, we'll just do regular damage. Hit it with the back end. And some more damage. 
Excellent. Landrin, your turn next. All right. Uh, I don't know if lightning's going to be worth it this time around again. I'm going to I'm gonna try something different just to see what else happens with it. I'm going to try to throw an ice knife at it. Okay, you throw an ice knife at it. All right. Uh... Oh, wait, did I have to roll... You do, yeah, first. you do have to roll first. Roll to hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's been a while since I've used it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Critical hit. Please roll damage a second time. Like, just roll the damage now. Just rolling it. There we go. All right. You have done damage to the Marid. All right. Probably all I'm going to do this turn. All right, then. Eggshell, it's your turn next. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just, like, determined and swinging again, you know? Mm. That's all I'm doing. Oh, yes. All right. So... Item again. That will that oh. will definitely do damage. So yeah. Oh yes. So second level Divin divine smite. There you go. What do we got go. going for us? Twenty four points of damage. There you go. Oh, nice one. You got another attack going, don't you? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh. Right. Oh, yeah. Roll right damage. Roll. roll damage. Oh. All right. And then... And you have killed it. Oh. Yeah. All right. And as you we're eating sushi tonight, as you kill it, it dissolves right. into foam and water. Oh, ah, so no sushi, no sushi. Oh, no. Most unfortunate. <laughs> OK, and with that, it's 830, y'all. All right. So, you know what that means? It means it's time for us to say goodbye for now, but that was a very, very fun little adventure there. Thank you very much, everyone who came on out to watch the stream. Super big thanks to all of our subscribers. Scrolling on the screen right now, we could not do what we do without your help. We will be back tomorrow with something else. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's on the docket. That is Jay's purview, but other otherwise we need to figure out who we're going to raid that's very important oh no i don't have anybody right now uh spacey still alive hang on a second something's up with my with my thing here that's why i couldn't see anybody oh huh. Dykeso is is up. Let's let's go raid Dykeso. Okay. Dykeso Yomi. So All right. slash Good raid. Night. Good sesh. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. Take her Kai. Oh, I didn't spell it right. Oops. Oh, I thought I thought. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> That felt really good. Thanks for, thanks for that, guys. That was really fun. Now the raid is going. Oops. Okay, everybody. See you in a minute here. Bye bye. Bye.